Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Academy. In this business use case for the Titan Docs, we will demonstrate a report-like document. All right, so we all know we can grab um, a report into our Titan add-in, uh, Titan Word add-in. In this video, I'll show you something a little different and how easy it is to generate report-like um, documents and with Titan add-in and Titan docs. What we will be using here is the Titan add-in for work. So I've already previously installed it. Very easy to get. You just head over to Word, insert, get add-ins. You search for form Titan and you just click to add and that's it. Then you head over to your form Titan add-in, click it and you'll be asked to log in. You can log in with Salesforce. Um, in my instance, I'm just gonna put my username. And I'm just gonna grab my one-time password. All right, and we're in. Okay, so let, let me show you what we have in this document here. So this is just a simple text. Uh, the first mapping that we have here is a section. So if I'll click insert edit section, you can see that I mapped it to an account. I didn't use any of the options here, the page break distinct. You notice the Question marks, very easy to learn what these functions do. You just click on the question mark and it will take you to a quick video of how this can be used. And this you will see these question marks throughout Titan. Okay, so we have an account section and within the account, within the section, we have a condition. Let's take a look at that condition. So I'll click insert edit condition. And what this condition says is the, my object, the account, the account section. Um, on the account, I have a field open opportunities, which is a row of summary. So if I'll head over to my Salesforce and I'll show it to you. I'll bring in my Salesforce, head over to an account. And that roll-up summary gives me how many open opportunities I have under that account. So if the open opportunity is not equal zero, you can do also greater than zero, then we want to show that section. Within that section, we have a simple mapping for the account name. And like you've seen in the previous videos, we can get rid of this and your mapping will still be the same. And if I'll click insert edit field to see my mapping, I'm going for the account section and I'm getting the account name. Okay, let's take, let's take a look at the table and this is where the magic happens. So I'll click insert edit table and I've inserted a table. I selected uh, opportunity object and what we wanna bring is um, all the opportunities from section to count. And in a second, I'll show you the filters. This is where we can actually see what's happening. For the opportunity, I'm just bringing in the name and the amount. And if we'll scroll down to the bottom, I take the split table and what the split table will do is it will give me a field to select from my object. In this instance, the opportunity, um, splitting it by stage. So whatever opportunity within these accounts. So let's say you have one account with five opportunities with five different stages, you will get five different tables of, for each stage. Or if you have three opportunities of the same stage and two opportunities of different stages, you will get three tables, three of the, one, three of the opportunities uh, with one stage group to one table and the rest with two different tables. And we'll see that in just a moment. And I've selected the insert table header and you will see what this does in just a second. And, and if you want to learn about, if you want to learn more about any of these functions, just click the question marks like we've mentioned before. Okay. 
So this is my table header. What this will do, it will show the stage and I marked it in yellow. So just home, I gave it a yellow background and that's it. Just insert it, um, a divider here, a static divider. And just it's just to show you the idea and you can play with it however you want. Let's take a look at our conditions here at our filters. So for the account section filter, I did nothing. So no filter at all. We want to bring in, let's say a hundred accounts. And for the opportunity, if I'll configure the condition again, so we're saying the account ID of the opportunity equals our first filter, our first get for that instance, the account, and we want to match it to the account ID on from the first get. And let's bring in 100 as well. So for each account, we can bring up to 100 opportunities. And you can give it, obviously, much larger numbers. And you can sort it by whatever you want. Again, question marks. Uh, take a look at that. All right, we'll, we'll set conditions. Let's hit the preview. And let's see what we got. So for, the, for our first account, at C, we have three closed one opportunities. We have a bunch of closed one opportunities. We have uh, decision makers and prospecting. And that's our first account. We move on to Dickinson Place. We see qualification. We see decision makers again. And you see what the group by did, what the split by did. So for each stage, it will group all that opportunities and you can do it on any object on any field that you want to group and this is just uh, an instance of how to use this thing so this is really cool so what we have here again is our section and within that section we have a table and you can, you can go wild with this you can add another table you can add a section this is just to demonstrate the capabilities here so if we publish this guy um, let's uh, publish it to a new form. We'll do a report like doc and we'll publish it. And once I'll head over to my Titan account, be able to see my form right away. Since we're not, let's take a look at the document generation. So this happens automatically. Everything is mapped. We have the um, word mapping here. You can enable Salesforce, Salesforce button, you can enable Apex, you can run this, uh, the, run this document from Apex, from Process Builder, you can schedule it if you like to run every um, certain amount of time to generate, to have it, you know, you can add email addresses and on submit, you can, if I'll head over to emails, you can send it to, um, to all your managers, whoever needs to receive this report, etc or you can have it uh, within a link and this is what I will show you and you can just send off the link to whoever needs to receive or download the report uh, convert it to PDF you name it so let's head over to our document generation and say preview before submit auto preview and right now the output format is docs you can change it to PDF and you see you have a tons tons of options here and we have a, a video for each of these, exactly what they do. So I'm just going to keep this simple and we'll hit apply. And since we don't need the record ID mapped, so you can just say default value, since we, we are not pulling a record ID. One thing we forgot to do in this video is on the publish, you have to make sure that your filters are correct. So in my instance here, I do not have a filter since I just want to grab all of the accounts. In my instance, the first 50 accounts. And if I'll head back to my opportunity filter, so like we've done in the preview, and it's really important that you go to the publish and configure this because they will not be the same the first time you do it. So in our instance, again, account ID on the opportunity equals our first uh, get account section account ID. So we're golden this time. So we do not need to publish this again. And here we have the default value and we've set 
um, auto preview. So if I'll click view and we'll automatically pull up the preview and here is our document. From here, you can download it. You obviously can convert it to a PDF, uh, you name it. And like I've said, you can run this from a process builder to have it run at a specific time. And if we will add a push, you can add your push. Say you want to create a task with this thing. And for that task, for instance, you can add a file with your map document or just create the file if you want to attach it to a certain record or you can attach it to a directory you name it, and then you will do version data for a file for a content version. You'll say word mapping. And you also need to add your first published location ID. In our instance, is the task. And the title, you can either do something dynamic or something st static, like so. And once someone will submit this, it will push the file to Salesforce. And this is how it's done.